Yeah, she had some fish over it. Some at 25, some at 60, and the wreck starts about 75. Okay guys, today we're going after some bottom fish. We've been doing a little pre-fishing, getting ready. We've done a trip earlier. Uh, we caught some sea bass and red snapper. We went out today a little bit farther to a wreck called the Spikes. In the morning it started off pretty slow. I mean, I think we were only like catching grunts. Grunts, and I think we got a couple smaller snapper to, to go with. But... It was like ridiculous. Like I've never seen us catch so many grunts and not even little sea bass. I don't, even want, I don't even think we caught a sea bass that day, did we? I don't think so, I mean. But we had a lot of people come up there by us wanting to catch them, didn't they? Yeah. I mean, like, when I say by us, they're like, I'm going to move out of the way so we can come in there and fish. That's how close <laughs> they were to us. Yeah. Just tie off on us, bro. I mean. <laughs> yeah, say, say fuel, Kyle. It's the back of our cleat. When we get ready to go, we'll pull you to the next hole. You know, the ocean, we're, what, 25 miles, 30 miles offshore? Yeah. And we got like three or four people coming right up on us. I'm like, hey guys, you know, there's other places to fish out here. Come on. <laughs> they don't know any. <laughs> Apparently not. I kept, kept expecting one thing. Well, we don't know any others, man. We pulled this number off the website. This is all we know. Yeah, one lady came up. You catching anything? Well, not anymore. <laughs> Trying to. <laughs> right. yeah. Any, any help, helpful hints would maybe we'd get something. But we were actually hoping to get some cobia there. Yeah. Because uh, it being a wreck in that time of the year, the water was cool. And we were hoping to get some Kobe and maybe some big green head sea bass. Mm -hmm. And it was funny, we uh, we pull up these grunts, and because we're trying to catch the Kobe, uh, one thing that you know we found, that you found, is, is Kobe love grunts. They do. As a matter of fact, back in the old days when I'd be bottom fishing and I'd see Kobe come up, I would pull my bottom line up and get it out of the way and let there be a grunt sitting on it mm -hmm. and the cubby would go past my uh, menhaden or my cigar minute and grab the grunt mm -hmm. so i found out that the grunts are probably better than the other ones yeah i guess that's a natural bait for them yeah they're hanging on the racks there's tons of grunts there but uh we threw one out put it on a spinner rod put it on a flat line and uh all of a sudden that thing i mean we see that thing start bending i grab the reel and something big hooks up to it and uh takes off a little ways and throws up the bait, pull it up, and it's got some pretty good teeth marks on it. Right, chewed up like like probably a snapper, not like a kuda where it would have cut it, but like it was chewed on. Right. Bottom fish, maybe a grouper or snapper. Yeah. Got hit pretty good. So, you know, grunts were plentiful, so we took another grunt, hooked it back up, threw that line back out. Wasn't too much longer later, we had another fish on. Oh. Whoa, there we go. Yeah. Ah, man. I don't know if you break, you just... This time the fish took took me down to the bottom. You know, he was running, peeling line and, and stuff, and then popped me off. Broke so. line. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> they parted ways, literally. Yeah. <laughs> that fish in my line parted ways. That's right. So, um... Pull it back up, re-rigged, bigger hook this time. Bigger pole this time. We decided it ain't happening again. Uh, that was still the same pole. Oh, never mind. That's the next one. Bigger hook, same pole, new Same grunt. results. <laughs> Did it break again? Yeah, same results. Okay. They ain't been out long, have they? Threw it back out. Fish takes it. Be on line. Breaks me off. Oh wait, thank you. Something's on this one. Oh geez. No, he's still there, but he's going down. I don't know there's much I can do about it. Get it out. Yeah. Is it going up? Okay. Put ground over there just to put on a case, on it. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Jeez. Ah, dang it. Nah. No. 
felt like it was in the wreck. Did it break again? Yeah, probably an amberjack probably just took the line across the wreck. So that was that was when it got real. Yeah, we didn't bring them uh, 50 wide. Did we use 80 or 70? Or uh, 50 wide. 50 wide. We bring them for a reason. When it has to get tough, we get tough. Yeah, 130 pound braid. Put a big old hook on, big old circle hook. Roller guides. Yeah, I mean, we're about to, you know, this fish is, is going to learn his lesson. He's coming in the boat. <laughs> One way or another. Exactly. <laughs> Right, so he catches another grunt, tons of grunts, like we said. Put that bad boy down, before you know it, boom, hooks up again. It was kind of a weird bite, though, because he kind of fought for a little bit, and then he quit. And so we thought it was off, but I think he was still on, and he was just swimming around, and then he, well, he started reeling in, and you notice he was on there or something? Yeah, I gave him time to take the circle hook, and I clicked drag all the way forward, and uh, started fighting. And he would like come up, and then boom, he'd go back down and be fighting that, get a little bit. And, and I got that on strike. That's pretty tough, you know. That's for high speed trolling, fast, big lures. And he was pulling it, so I, I increased that bad boy, you know, because he's coming to the boat. Yeah, we're running the show here now, not him. <laughs> yeah. So, so he starts cranking him up. So I'm thinking maybe amberjack, mm -hmm. maybe a cobia, but it was acting more amberjackish to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And up comes this. Mac Daddy of a red snapper, 25, maybe 30, you would think. He was big. I mean, we had to take two pictures of him to get the whole thing in the picture. That's how big he was. All right, and we just put a thing in you, and you put it, and, and you can get them all in one picture. He, That's why you're able to see him in one picture here later. Good news is they're gonna be opening up snapper soon. Wish snapper was open that day. This it was just an awesome fish, biggest red snapper we've. Ever gotten That's the that boat biggest one I've ever seen. Huge, huge snapper. It was there's big fish there. We were catching. <laughs> we caught several snapper. That that was the biggest one we got though. Mm -hmm. No sea bass. Lots of grunts. Apparently a lot of red snapper. Yeah, the ones that there are not supposed to be many of. I think according to what the South Atlantic Marine Fisheries Commission. <laughs> yeah. But that's another story. I'm getting him started. Right. It was a slow day, but it was really cool catching that fish. We were at least prepared for those couple big fish that, you know, tried us. Good time on the water. Um, Any day on the water is better than a, a day at the office, I can assure you. Well, right. maybe not if you're sinking, but other than that. <laughs> I always wondered how it was for charter guys, because a bad day of fishing is a bad day of work, right? So Exactly. Is that good or bad? I don't know. Maybe we'll have to ask them one day. Yeah, we'll ask them. <laughs> Do a poll. So... Not fishing for a Right. Gotcha. So, uh, see you guys next time. Yep. Tune in and for another great episode and edition of Real Hazardous. Thanks for watching. <laughs>